Uh, today's sermon title is Irresistible Grace. And if you have um, hear such a term today, so you kind of think about a beautiful girl. But I'm sorry, it is not about that. Instead, irresponsible grace is about the fourth of the five doctrines of grace that we are studying in this summer. And it is also called the five points of Calvinism, if you've heard of that phrase. And the five, the, the five doctrines are summarized with the acrostic tulip, T-U-L-I-P. I believe you've heard of that and you've repeatedly heard of that this summer. And uh, irresistible grace is a fourth doctrine in the acrostic. So let us review the, uh, the five uh, letters. T stands for total depravity. It speaks for man's inability to keep God's law totally. U is about unconditional election. It speaks of God's free sovereign choice in the safe salvation of sinners. L. Then is a talk about this last week about limited atonement. It speaks of the efficacious and definitive nature of Jesus' atonement on the cross to die for sinners. And then today we are covering I, irresistible grace. In short summary, it speaks of the necessity and effectiveness of God's grace in bringing salvation to sinners. And next week will be about the perseverance of saints. It speaks of the persi persistence of true believers to continue in the faith and the impossibility to lose their salvation because the Lord is also persistent in keeping these believers. Now, these five doctrines are the main...